Hey, everyone. Um, so I hope that you had a great day. Today, it was a beautiful day outside. It was 60 degrees, um, nice and warm. I hope that you got to at least go in your backyard or maybe a walk around the block, of course, not touching anyone or anything, but um, what a great day. So I hope that you enjoyed the day as much as we did here at the Gilbert House. We're going to go ahead and we are going to read the story about Howdy Big Tax. Now, this was something that Mr. Scott did last week, but I really like the writing that's pouring in so far. I saw Myla um, had some awesome writing. Jameer was uploading uh, writing. Devin had some writing last time I looked uploaded to Seesaw. There's a bunch of you who are now using Seesaw. Awesome job, guys. Can't wait to read your writing. So um, one thing I want to say before we go any farther and talk about what we're going to do today and um, plan out our writing. A reminder, you can type your writing, right? You can type your plan. You um, you can use Word or Notepad or um, lots of different things to type it. If you want to just write it on a piece of paper, when you're holding it, make sure that you're not holding it way back here so that we can see it. I don't need to see your face. I just need to see your writing. So if you want to hold it right up here, let me, I'll use my phone as an example here. If this was a piece of paper, hold it right up here so we can see your writing. That would be great. Um, and again, thank you so much for all of you who have already submitted writing. I can't wait to take a look at it. Let's go ahead and let's take a look at what we're going to be reading today. So we're reading Howdy Big Text. I'm going to upload this to Seesaw, um, but I'm not going to upload the prompt. I'm going to type the prompt in the directions, okay? So the prompt will be in the directions. This will be below. And if you are having difficulty finding it, I'll tell you where you can find it. You can still open up that folder. You can go to the distance learning folder, and it's going to be in the folder from last week, right? You click on second grade. You can go into March 30th through April 3rd. Go into the reading section because it was Mr. Scott's, and go into April 2nd, and you will find Howdy Big Text right there, okay? So let's get out of the screen. Okay, so here's the question we're going to answer. We're going to describe the life of Big Text. So I really like this new style plan we're doing because we are describing um, not an argument, right? We're, we're basically retelling our writing here. <sighs> Always a cat. Here comes a cat. So we're retelling our writing. We're going to describe the life of Big Text. Now, yeah, Big Text is not a um, real person. You already know this because you should have read the article. But I think we can really do a nice retell. And we can really really get into things here because we got big text in the beginning if you look at these head headings big text gets bigger and of course big text now um so i'm really excited to dive in so again let's take a look at this what we're going to be writing today describe the life of big text oops let me write prompt here so you know that this is the prompt um, and i'll also put this in the youtube description so you remember the prompt here so let's describe the life of big text now <clears throat> Even if you can't mark up, let's say you can't print this out, you can't mark up this text, you should be jotting down notes then on a piece of scratch paper, on a post and whatever. But start jotting your notes down if you can't mark this text up because you might not have a hard copy of it so that you can say the beginning of big text, the middle of big text, and of course the end or what's happening now. Let's go ahead and let's get started. So of course, starting with the title, Howdy Big Text. Ask anyone who has been to the Texas State Fair in Dallas. Texas, to tell you what it's like. You might hear stories of exciting rides, tasty food, and interesting farm animals. One thing you will definitely hear about is Big Tex. He is a giant cowboy who greets people at the front gate. His huge arms wave at visitors as he welcomes them with a cheerful howdy. It's just about spelling. <clears throat> Big Tex in the beginning. Since 1952, children and grown-ups have enjoyed seeing Big Text. In 1951, the state fair president bought Big Text. He thought it would be nice to have a big cowboy as a symbol of the Texas at the fair. Pretty cool. So Big Text was placed in at the entrance. Let's scroll down here. The giant cowboy was made out of metal, paper, and cardboard and glue. He was 52 feet tall. He wore colorful clothing and a huge cowboy hat and a giant pair of cowboy boots. Thick wires attached to Big Tex's body kept him from falling over. His hand was positioned to look like he was waving his arms to visitors. Big Tex stood tall and smiled. <clears throat> By 1953, Big Tex could speak. Words had been pre-recorded, played over speakers while the giant cowboy's mouth moved. 
as the words played, his mouth moved like a puppet, open, closed, open, closed. In, 19, whoops, in 1997, Big Tex got a new look. His body was rebuilt with stronger materials, and by 2000, his arm could move. Ooh, I think I like um, Big Tex waved at visitors as they entered the fair. All right. Big Tex gets bigger. Unfortunately, in 2012, there was an accident, and Big Tex was destroyed in a fire. Oh, no. Although people were disappointed, a man named R. Eddie Snell realized this was a chance to make a bigger and better Big Tex. Snell's company had a, uh, sorry, had built a large dragon and giant cowboy boots before, yet he knew the big cowboy would not be an easy job. <clears throat> Snell had big ideas for the new cowboy. The new Big Tex would be taller. He would stand firmly on the ground without wires attached to hold him up. The new Big Tex's face would move. And looked more like a real cowboy. He would also have fingers that would move and point. Overall, the new Big Tex would be more lifelike. Snell's company wanted the new Big Tex to surprise people at the fair. So the company worked secretly for 10 months. The workers were not allowed to tell anyone that what they were building. In fact, they used a secret code for Big Tex in emails and on the phone. They called him Fried Chicken. I like that. Drawings of the designs <clears throat> were also labeled fried chicken. I hope when you're reading this with me, you're also going fried chicken. This way, the workers could keep the big cowboy's secret until he was finished. Nine. Snell's workers found a new way to make Big Texas face. A soft, light material called styrofoam was used. It could be carved easily into the shape <coughs> of a face. Then, thin layers of the soft materials were placed on top. This way, the mouth could move almost like a person's mouth. The workers were careful to use materials that would not burn easily. Probably because it burned down. That's good. Um, it was important to avoid another fire. At last, Big Tex was finished. His steel frame body was taken to a clothing factory. There, hundreds of yards of fabric were used to make his cloths. Big Tex was dressed in a red, white, and blue shirt, denim jeans, colorful cowboy boots, and an even bigger cowboy hat. It was time to take Big Tex to his place at the fairgrounds. A large crane and several workers set him in place. He stood behind the white curtains, and on September 26, 2013, the curtains were dropped. At last, everyone could see the new Big Tex. Now, every fall, Big Tex greets visitors to the state fair with a smile and a nod and a <coughs> wink. He points the way to fun attractions. Snow is happy with his work and his uh, work his team did to build Big Tex. I know we won't please everybody, Snell says, but I think future generations will love this Tex. Based on the public's response, Big Tex is a big hit in Texas. Okay. So, lots of Big Tex in Texas here. There's a, there's a picture, and let's read the caption here. It says, in 2016, Big Tex greeted visitors as they entered the Texas State Fair. Excuse me. Very thirsty. Okay. So let's go ahead and let's take a look again at our prompt. We're describing the life of Big Tex. So I want you to go back right now, mark up the text. If you're able to print it out, I'd suggest printing it out. You might have a copy already laying around. If not, I just want you to, to jot some notes. What happens at the beginning? Okay, hint, hint. Look at some of these titles here. They're going to really help you out. Big Tex in the beginning. Wink. Um, and let's come up with some re some things we can put in our retail of um, describing the life of Big Tech. So why don't you go ahead, you work for a few minutes, and then we'll come back together and we'll talk about some things. Okay, so 
I'm going to come back. I'm going to start talking. You might have had some stuff highlighted, maybe not quite yet. And if if not, just pause our video here and unpause it when you're ready. So um, let's talk about the beginning. So if we hop back to our, my prompt here, beginning events, well, it just happens that big text in the beginning is one of our first headings here. So I'm going to go and I'm going to start highlighting stuff. I'm going to highlight this in red so you know it's beginning. Now, I'm not going to put all of this in my plan here, but I am going to use this so that when we go back to write about it, I know exactly what I'm going to start with to stretch out my writing. Like, I don't want to write all of it in the plan. That's really repetitive. I just want to get tiny little bullets in that plan so that when I go back the next day, I can pull those bullet points out and stretch them out. I definitely want to start with, in this case, when big tech started. So in, I like this line right here. In 1951, the state fair president um, bought big techs. He thought it would be nice to have a cowboy symbol at the state fair. Okay. Whoops. So I'm going to put something in my box and bullet plan in a few minutes about um, how this all started, right? It started that uh, Big Tex was a giant statue. Um, he was built in 1951, and the president of the state fair bought him to put him in the state fair so that he could greet people. Um, I'm going to use this piece of evidence right here because I know the date um, to start adding in uh, my piece of writing. Now I'm going to go down to paragraph three here. And I like this line here. It's the giant cowboy was made out of metal, paper, cardboard, glue, and he stood 52 feet tall. Now I'm not going to put this in my plan, right? Let's actually put this because I'm going to put this in my first box. I'm not going to put this in my plan, but I am going to use this to stretch out my plan from the next day, right? Uh, maybe I'll put something in here like in the plan, like he's 52 feet tall, but I don't want to put all of these details. This is stuff I can use to stretch out my writing. And I also like this down here because we're kind of gone by dates. Um, in 1953, Big Text could speak. This is kind of interesting. I might want to put that in my plan. Uh, sorry, in my writing, not my plan. Um, let's go and let's take a look at down here, Big Text gets bigger. It's probably not the beginning of the plan, right? Where do you think this would be? possibly the middle, right? This is a good portion where we break up to the middle. So let's go on, let's, let's take a look at some middle events. So I'm thinking something we definitely need to include here is that there was an accident. He was destroyed in a fire. I'm gonna underline that first line there because this basically then retells the entire story, right? We have Big Tex at the beginning, right? He's a giant statue at the State Fair, greets Texans once they walk into the State Fair. Then come to the middle of the story, we now have Big Tex, and unfortunately, a fire happened. Um, Big Tex burns down, and then what happens as we get to the end of our story? Big Tex is being rebuilt. So now we can use this to talk about how Big Tex is being rebuilt. So let's go and let's find some find some uh, information we want to stick out um, in our plan. So you know what? Let's put a number two here for our second box. So I definitely want to use this line in my plan. That's that's crucial. Uh, let's see. We can. Talk about Snell's company wants to build a big text to surprise people at the fair. They secretly work on it for 10 months. I like that. Now, I like this fried chicken bit, but I don't think it's the most important um, thing. So I'm definitely not going to put it in my plan, but I do like it. So I might underline it because I might want to go back and use it tomorrow when we stretch out our writing. Uh, let's see here. <clears throat> I do like this bit right here. I like where we talk about. Um, the styrofoam is used. Um, it looks kind of like a person's mouth. But I like this uh, right right here. It was important to avoid another fire. So I'm actually just going to put like parentheses around this paragraph because I think – I don't want to underline the whole thing. I think all of this information is really important because it all boils down to saving big text from another fire, right? They're rebuilding them, but they're also taking precautions because they don't want that to happen. So I definitely want to put something in my retail about this um, come time to write it, right? Now, I definitely want to talk about big text when he is finished, and I think that's going to be where I go into my next part of my plan, right? The end event. Big text is done, right? They rebuild them. So let's change our – let's change our font up. I'm feeling blue as my color here. Um, <clears throat> and I think a lot of this stuff is what we want to put in and stretch out, but let's find the most important information to put in our plan. So Big Tex is finished. His steel frame body was taken to a clothing factory there. Hundreds, uh, you know, we're talking about his jeans. Um, let's see here. What do we want to put in? What's the most important piece of information? 
I, I like the date. The curtains were dropped. At last, everyone could see the new big text. I do like this date um, because, again, if we're starting with a date when big text was first put into the ferret, now this is the date where the new big text is. Um, so I think I'm going to use this in my writing here. And again, I'm going to use stretch some of this out at the end of our writing, but let's go ahead and let's actually start adding in some of our writing. So if you have it, um, you can, again, you can write this down and snap a picture of it when you upload it tomorrow. But I'm going to start adding these things into my box and bullet plan. Remember, you're sure to look identical to mine. You might want to pull out some different information, but I'm going to go ahead and start my box and bullet right now. Okay, so I went ahead and I put mine right in there. Um, I'm going to walk you through it, but again, I don't want you to have an identical plan to me. I literally just keep going back to the text, right? I, I put numbers, <clears throat> excuse me, one, two, and three. What's going on with my mouse here? Um, on my on my, my document so that you could see that I just pulled these right out. In 1951, the State Fair president bought big text. He would thought it was nice to have a symbol. Um, as they entered the fair. And I put basically that right in my writing, my own words. I wrote in 1951, a giant cowboy named Big Tex greeted people at the Texas State Fair. So again, keeping it short and simple and sweet. Then tomorrow I'll go and add all this in when I actually write about it. But you don't need to add all this stuff in your actual plan. That's for when we actually write about it. So then let's take a look at box number two. So I put a number two here and I said, unfortunately in 2012, there was an accident. Big Tex was destroyed. My plan says the same thing. 2012, big text caught on fire. And I did add big text was rebuilt. Because again, the middle portion of this talks about Snell's company rebuilding and all of the things that they do to rebuild them. Um, and it was important that, you know, he didn't catch fire. So they're using different materials. Not going to put all that in my writing plan, but I will stretch it out when I go to write about it. Finally, let's take a look at my third, whoops, third one in, we talked about, again, we started with a date, kind of like to end with a date. So I said on 926. Um, so September 26, 2013, Big Tex was back at the State Fair. Woohoo! Guests can now visit him and see him wave and talk. And again, it says that right here. Curtains are dropped. Everyone sees him. Everyone loves Big Tex, right? Let's get out of here. So you can see how I stretch that out. Then let's actually let's let's save this. All right, guys. Well, I'm really excited. And I will have everything up on Seesaw for you. If you have any questions, please send me a text, an email. You know how to do it. Get in touch with me or your teacher. And that's all, folks.